Every culture looks at the same stars, and for this reason, many of the constellations have numerous stories. During the autumn, a seasonal constellation, commonly called Pegasus, is high in the night sky. It is easily identified by four bright stars in the form of a great huge square, also commonly known as the Great Square of Pegasus. Since the square is not the entire constellation, but only a part of the constellation, it is an asterism. Once one finds the great square, it is possible to see several stars that dangle from the bright star Markab and seem to kick out to the side. This is supposed to be the neck and head of the horse Pegasus. However, Hawaiians see it differently. They see it as a great kite with the tail swinging out. In Hawaiian stargazing mythology, this is Kalupe o Cavello, the great kite of Cavello. As the legend goes, Cavello Le Makua was born to Maihuna and Malai Akalani in Hanama Ulu, Kauai. Out of five siblings, Cavello, as he was called, was recognized at birth to be the brave child who would one day rule the land. Cavello's grandparents, in all their wisdom and skill, chose to raise Cavello at their home in Wailua, where he was well cared for. While his grandparents tended their crops, Cavello enjoyed paddling his va'a. From sunrise to sunset, he would go back and forth up the Wailua River and then back out to sea. One day, as Cavello was paddling, he saw his cousin, Kawahoa, release a kite into the sky. Cavello returned home that day and asked his grandparents for a kite of his own. His wish was granted, and he flew his kite next to his cousin, Kawahoa. Cavello taunted Kawahoa by making his kite leap from side to side. The two kites became entangled. They twisted and turned, but soon the string holding Kawahoa's kite broke, and it flew away, landing in a distant forest. To this day, near Kaloa is a place called Kaho Olena Pea, in reference to Kawahoa's fallen kite. Cavello, being slightly smaller and younger than his cousin, knew that Kawahoa could have punished him for what he had caused. But Kawahoa merely blamed the wind, and the two remained close throughout childhood. However, everyone who watched the kites in the sky that day interpreted them as a sign that Cavello's mana, or supernatural power, was greater than Kawahoa's, and he would someday rule the land. Cavello's kite flies high above and finally dips below the western horizon around the time the Makali'i rise in the east, signaling the Makahiki season. <laughs>